Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to you. 5 Minute Eats and it is Fast Food Fridays here on 5 Minute Eats which means that every Friday at 11 p.m. Central you can tune in and find a new fast food review from us and today we have got yet another installment in the Chicken Sandwich Wars. We have done a while back a whole spicy chicken sandwich week and now we've done several other just a la carte chicken sandwiches. Because let's face it, everyone and their mother is coming out with a chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. They're trying to keep up because it's the latest craze in fast food. And of all the people to come out with one, who is it? This that we have today is the Wingstop new chicken sandwich. One crispy, juicy chicken sandwich with pickles in your choice of flavor and one dip. So for this, we just went with what they kind of recommended whenever you're ordering it. So the flavor that we did was original hot, which is one of the two that they say is the popular flavor. And I feel like this is more in line with a spicy chicken sandwich. And then the dip that they had pre-selected was ranch. So we went with that and this is a huge cup of ranch too. Which is awesome because if you know us, we love it saucy. Yes, we do. And this thing was actually only $5.49. Which is a great price. Especially since we've had some chicken sandwiches that were over $10. Panera bread. That's right, and it was bad. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now the presentation on this, whenever I first opened up the box, it looked like a million bucks, man. I was excited for it. Now let me ask you this. Do you love wings? I like wings, I would almost prefer to have non-wing wings. I want the boneless ones just because it's less messy. I like wings, but I used to love them until my travels across America. And you know what we discovered? People love chicken wings. And you know what they do with it? They eat it and they throw it on the ground. So if you have dogs and you're walking the, the street, you know, taking your dogs out, going for a walk and all that, what happens? Your dog finds the chicken bones. Next thing you know, they're munching on it. So if you're like us and you have small dogs, what do you gotta do? You gotta pry that dog's mouth open, wrestle with it, try to get that chicken bone out. Mm -hmm. This is a constant problem, man. I don't get it. This is a problem I came across last night. Throw your freaking chicken wings in the garbage when you're done. That's correct. But with this, you don't gotta worry about no bones, right? Exactly. What do you think of the look of it? It looks good. I agree. And I love they gave you a lot of ranch. This is a big boy cup. So let's get into it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This thing is okay. It's just, uh, I would say not in the middle, but just below the middle in the chicken wars. It's not, it's not like bringing it, man, because I think the problem is, first of all, I hate the bun. I think it's too thick. I wish it was steamed. I think the bun is just very annoying. It's too thick. Now, the actual chicken, I like the breading. It was a good mild spiciness to it. Loved it. The problem is the chicken. You know, a lot of these um, chicken, like the ones from Popeye and KFC and things like that, they're like thick. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of meat in it, right? This thing is a, it's like a thin chicken patty and it's not as flavorful, man, as its competitors. I thought it was okay. They must be watching our videos though, wing stuff, because the ranch dressing, that's an insane amount of ranch. <laughs> I love that. I think that's awesome. Because you, you know, maybe you want to take this home and you're like, you know what, I'm going to pour it all in there. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. no one's watching. I'm at home by myself. So. Sometimes that happens. The ranch was good. I just think this is a <laughs> mediocre chicken sandwich. Would I order it if I was at the restaurant, uh, Wingstop? No, because I'm gonna go there for the wings. I'm not gonna really mess with this. If I'm in the mood for something like this, I'm gonna go to a place that does it right. This, thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. For me, this one is going to be a thumbs 
down. I kind of enjoyed it a little bit at first, but you're correct about the bun. It is, it's a lot of bun. And I don't know if it specifically said it was a brioche bun, but I feel like a lot of places are doing that lately. And it's always too much bun to take down. Why is everyone so afraid of just a freaking regular old white bread bun? Those are more like light and airy and it's not as filling then, you know? Like I don't yeah. want to fill up on the bread basket that is a bun like that. I want to be able to enjoy the whole sandwich without feeling like I'm dying by the time I get halfway through it. And that's how I felt with this bun. It was just a lot to take down. Now, the other issue is the chicken was not really consistent. It started out like at a, at a kind of thin and then tapered off to nothing. Did you notice that? There was like a meaty part and then it kind of just trailed off into just breading. And I didn't love that because then once you get to the part that is just the breading, it's like saturated with the sauce, which is nice in theory, but I felt like the sauce was kind of really salty the more you ate of it. Like I noticed about halfway through, I was like, oh, it's starting to get real salty up in here. Did not love that. I think it might've been better if it would have been the thicker chicken and it was more well balanced, you know, cause the sauce tasted good. It was just, it was salty the more you eat of it. I think that overall, I mean, for the price, I don't hate it because I really kind of expected them to have like probably an $8.99 sandwich. So I'm glad that they didn't, but at the same time, like you said, I don't really think that they're bringing it. And I think that they're just below the average for the chicken wars that we have tried. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly, even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.